he's got to earn his stripes. I mean, as much right now, I think the plane itself, I think the kids have got a little bit of respect for him right now. Now, it's, if he can fly it, <laughs> then he's golden. Uh -oh. So, if he can successfully do some flying, bring it in, land successfully without killing anybody or going through a window, he's officially a Mace RC foam fighter. Good for him. I'm left handed. <laughs> So here we got a picture of the um, video of the drone. Um, so we've been working with the tricopter, and it worked. It flew, but in terms of training and being able to train other kids, it just wasn't working very well. Um, it was still a little difficult. So the kids did some more research on what we could possibly do, and they're finding out that obviously the quad is should be the ticket for a good stable flight. And so we we got you know everything. Um, almost complete on this. this, is all laser cut using foam board and inside these pieces is the uh, blue core foam that you get at Home Depot and it just crisscrosses but we'll go more into this at a later date. Another cool project, project that we're working on right now is we're working on um, building a fuselage um, for a student who's a senior at Loveland High School his name is Scott Bragg, and he is designing the FPV platform for one of his aeronautical classes. And so he's using us to um, create a fuselage for his plane. So he's going to do the wing, and then we have to provide the fuselage. So this group is working on one of the designs that he kind of likes. Kind of a helmet. This is just a prototype that we were working with. Um, they call it the helmet design, but this should look like this. He wants a GoPro to sit on the front. And so now they're going to have to take this and get it on CAD so that we can laser it. So here's another one that he approved. Scott approved this one. He liked the, kind of the idea of this one. Um, I think they're going to have to do a little more work on it. And the kids have specifications and all kinds of that good stuff to, that they have to deal with. And then there's one more over here. We're going to show the viewers. So here's another one that he approved. Um, so if it was folded up, they still got a little more work to do. It would sit like this, the wing would sit on top. And then up front here would be a platform that the GoPro would be hanging off and be able to rotate around. Okay, and right now they're working on transferring this over to CAD. So you guys need some rulers. Yeah, we are. Okay, sweet. But yeah, just another um, another basic day in the Mesa RC Foam Fighters world. And um, some good news is that we started another chapter in Vermont. They're called the Green Mountain RC Foam Fighters, and they should be starting up here soon. Um, and then we also landed a, uh, a new volunteer, and his name is Chris Miller. And last week he had to uh, earn his stripes. So here's a video on him earning his stripes. You, uh, int formal intro. Are you taping right now? Yeah. Okay. All right, guys. Here we go. Uh, Mr. Miller has um, has offered his time during our pride class to uh, help out the kids as a volunteer, and he's he's bringing uh, a lot of knowledge and a lot of uh, expertise from the hobby. Um, it's like another another adult that knows what he's doing and can help these guys out with their builds as well as flying. I know a lot of these guys have always dreamed of doing dog fights. Well, now that you have another flyer, uh, we can actually do that. So, he's got to earn his stripes. I mean, as much right now, I think the plane itself, I think the kids have got a little bit of respect for him right now. Now, it's, if he can fly it, <laughs> then he's golden. Uh -oh. So, if he can successfully do some flying, bring it in, land successfully without killing anybody or going through a window, he's officially a Mace RC foam fighter. Good for him. Left-handed. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, that thing is fast. It's, really it's, it's, really it's got a giant motor on it. Sick. Are you running? Wow. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> that thing is super touchy. I know. It's pretty solid plane too. He's a pincher. Is he a pincher? Yeah. He's a pincher. You're not welcome in these parts. <laughs> really? No. That's how you should fly until I did. Huh. I can't do it. So pinching just means that you're pinching? So he has it he has it rested. The thing is we never had the, the stuff early on. Super duper fast. It's a little bit heavy. <laughs> So you have to keep it going or what? If I turn it on downwind at half throttle, it'll stall. Oh, okay. It's exactly opposite my my plan is to get The camouflage. Did you airbrush it or just spray paint? Just stencil spray paint. Oh. Can you fly inverted? Kyle. Oh, my tape's coming off. Yeah! Oh, yeah. Sometimes it was, yeah. Even on 80% sound, like, things like that. Very nice. It is, um... I don't know if you were going by the sound or by my fingers, but that is a that is a faster motor, mm -hmm. so it'll be a little higher pitch than the okay. 2500. What is it, it's a 2700 kV. Yeah, 2836. Yeah, that thing is So it's like a... I love these motors, too. They're so nice. It's like a 500-watt motor. Man, those magnets are, magnets are strong in there. Um, and I, that thing will get going. Uh, I've been experimenting with props. Yeah. And it turns out at this altitude, with some of my motors, I can fly a 6 by 5.5. Yeah. And uh, they give you this is still a 6.4. Yeah. So I think this would go faster. If you, oh, for sure. If you for sure. <laughs> Very cool. No. Thanks. Everybody. Awesome. Well, I think Chris has earned his, his stripes. Of course he has. You look like a bad. Make it out of the laser cutter. Welcome aboard, dude. Welcome aboard. Let's do some more flying.